happening today. Phones on high alert this morning from Woodland Park to Colorado Springs. Because of that snow squall warning, perhaps you received it. We all did with the alert urging those in the path of the storm. Well, basically, stay off the roads. Meteorologist Ellen Rose joining us now with a closer look at the timeline and what led to our phones going off so much this right. morning. Right, and they went off three separate times, right? Mm -hmm. So residents in Teller and El Paso counties got this alert. It was a powerful cold front that prompted today's snow squall warning. And our weather quickly turned from calm and dry to near whiteout conditions. Here's what the ra local radar looked like this morning when the storm hit. Now, snow squall warnings are new to Colorado this season, and this was the first one issued for the Pikes Peak region. Think of this as like the equivalent of a severe thunderstorm, but during the winter time, often issued for a localized area for a short duration of time. Now, the warning is issued when the following criteria is met. A quick reduction in visibility caused by intense snow and intense wind, sudden whiteout conditions, and slick or hazardous roadways. Notification of the first warning came in right around 925 this morning, and it did include Teller County and northwestern parts of El Paso County. The National Weather Service warned of a dangerous snow squall that was located right near Lake George, moving off to the southeast at about 40 miles per hour with a history of whiteout conditions and heavy snow. National Weather Service even warning of potentially dangerous, life-threatening travel conditions. As the storm progressed eastward, a new warning came out just before 10 o'clock. Included areas around the Air Force Academy and northern parts of El Paso County. And around the Air Force Academy, we saw ferocious winds and snow moving in. The final warning was issued just before 1030 in the morning and now included the Colorado Springs metro area as well as the Tri Lakes. Now at this point, poor visibility was noted across the areas. The storm came in with wind and snow. Finally, as the storm wrapped up, the last warning was allowed to expire at 11 a.m. Now behind the front, the big story, as Mike Daniels mentioned, is going to be the wind here in Southern Colorado over the next 24 hours. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Meteorologist Alan Rose, News 5.